Let me go ahead and, and answer and respond to um, the statement, Pastor Dow, you are offending a lot of people. Number one, I'm not offending a lot of people. People choose to be offended. And you have to listen to me very closely. You know, we live in a world uh, where everybody is vying for your attention one way or the un another, you know, through communications. Um, communications exchange a flow of one part of an information to another. You know what I mean? So um, think about this for a second. How in the world can I be the one offending someone when people are listening to me? Now, the truth is, gain some self-control. Gain some self-control. If you are listening to something and you disagree with it, are you following me? All you have to do is discard it, throw it away. Why be offended? If you're listening to something and then you get convicted about what is being said, now that means that there is something that is trying to get a hold of your attention. But if you're listening to something, it causes you to go stark raving mad and you get all and fly off into a rage and stuff and you lose all self-control. You have to start questioning yourself what type of person you are um, and what type of man or woman of character you are because for somebody to have that kind of sway, that kind of control over another person, oh boy, I tell you what, that's pretty scary. So no, we don't get offended um, because somebody offended us. It depends on, the truth is, what ground the words are falling on. I mean, after all, if you're, you know, if, if your ground and a seed is going into and there's no nutrients, there's nothing of value in there that will, um, you know, fortify that seed and cause it to grow. Um, there's nothing but death. It's barren. Um, what you expect if you send that seed and it goes off into a good soil and it grows and they end up uh, continuing to keep growing up and growing up and growing up and growing up to a nice healthy plant, then what kind of soil is that? So gain a little bit of self-control and stop worrying about uh, people saying something that offends and not offends. My advice, if I can give you this, my advice is is that before you be so quick to disagree with what somebody says, do your due diligence. You have to understand this. We have all been raised in a world, kind of like a matrix, a literal matrix. We've all been raised in a world where we have all embraced certain philosophies, certain theologies, and ideas. And we've embraced those philosophies and ideas and theology, never contending with what has been fed with us. We just assumed that what we have been told, whether it be by parents, teachers, educators, it makes no difference. Friends, relatives, foes, it makes no difference. We just assumed that all the information that we have received has always been healthy information and good information and is in essence has shaped us as a man or a woman. It has shaped our value system. It has shaped us into the person and how we perceive. Um, and, and how we think about certain situations. And, and, and um, it, it has uh, developed our work ethic, whether we have one or not. Um, but the bottom line is, is that we've had a lot of people in our lives influence us. And that's the person who we are today. Now, the one thing that I know that a lot of people have not done is actually checked out things that they have embraced and things that they have received as truth. I mean, it's a very, very painful thing. I've done it, went back for it. It's a very, very painful thing. There's a lot of things that I, at one time, I believed that I was right. Only come to find out I had to take a humble pill um, because I could no longer square in my mind what I had truly believed to be the truth. I don't care if it's on the social, political, economic, or the religious front. It makes no difference whatsoever at all. But after I had done my own due diligence, after I've done my own independent research, and you have to understand, a lot of people are not going to research anything because it's too painful. A lot of people are not going to study anything because it's too painful. Most people um, base truth based upon their own selves. Whatever I believe is truth, that's truth to me, and I don't care what nobody thinks. That's how men think. I, I, I'm tired of getting um, abused by the, those type of ignorant perceptions and ignorant thought patterns. So... I've decided to use critical thinking in everything in life. Um, and I decide to contend with, with things. Uh, even if I already have this preconceived idea or this notion inside of me where I'm sitting up here thinking and believing that, that I got it all right, 
Um, and, and I think it's all right. I even have to stop for a second and go back and now wait a minute. Where did I learn this particular concept from? Who did I receive this truth from? Because right now I'm hearing what this person is saying and it is totally disagreeing or it's pushing against what's already in my mind. So you know what I did? I become proactive. I say, you know what? In order for me to get peace, in order for me to get settled in my heart, you know what I have to do? I am actually going to have to sit myself apart, get some quiet time, tell the wife to leave the house or get out of the room or go somewhere. Um, tell people, hey, put, take the phone off the hook. Um, let me get in here and let me get some resources. And let me do some thinking here. Let me go through the painstaking task of doing a little bit of individual due diligence and self-autonomy here for a second. And let me see if I can come to a rational, sound, truthful conclusion. And more than often, I found that things that I've embraced have actually been fallacies, lies, deception, perceived to be truth. And I had to actually have um, a quiet train wreck with myself. And I had to change my mind. I had to change my value system. I had to change because I had to change the person who I am. I had to change that old man because whoever and all the people that have had influence in my life and have sh helped shape my life, my mind, my character, who I am as a man, hey, I had to actually go back and reevaluate these things. And so today I am the man that I am because I've chosen to do the things that a lot of people simply will not do, which is check out everything, which is prove everything, which is don't set stuff for face value, but go back. And you know what? I found out one thing, though. When I started checking people out, when I started listening to what they say, and then I went behind them to check out what they said, now I know for my own self who is a man or woman of truth that can be trusted. A lot of people just want you to accept them simply because they smile. A lot of people want you to accept them simply because they exist. A lot of people want you to accept them simply because they're a family member. No, I ain't gone. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Nope, that doesn't fly with me whatsoever at all. I'm not going to do anybody wrong. I don't expect for anybody to do me wrong. Also, I'm not going to hang around any environment where someone um, has a contrary opinion um, meaning that they're very hateful towards me or they seek to abuse me or they seek to fly under the radar perception and be a secretive enemy. I've learned through discernment how to pick that stuff up over experience in life. And I've learned how to remove those hostile people from my environment and from my life. And i tell you one thing, it sure is nice when you can live life and have peace doing it every single day. That is a Beautiful, beautiful thing. Because I tell you what, once you obtain peace and you've got it and you're free in your mind and you've got it, you guard that peace and you do it with all diligence. I just told you the truth and that's the true straight way. And I hope that some way, somehow that these sayings can sink deep down into your hearts.